Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Right now this is part 18.5 and I'm going to explain right now. Basically I haven't been able to record properly for a while so I decided to do a video on Oblivion Gates. In this video I go through two gates. Now if you don't like Oblivion Gates then I suggest to not watch it and just wait till the next episode. But I'll give you a recap of what happened. Basically, I've leveled up, and then I'm going to go into a Oblivion Gate, level up again, do another Oblivion Gate, and then I'm going to be back to the quest where I was at. So if you want to watch me from then, so then you're going to have to wait for the next episode. But anyway, as you can see, I accidentally picked up a planter, which I need to put back down. As you can see, I'm very articulate about this. <laughs> But yeah, after I put this pot down, I'm going to level up, and then after I level up, I've sped everything by two? Maybe more? I, I sped up by a lot, basically. But yeah, um, oh gosh, look at me go. <laughs> anyway, I'm on my way up. Hello, oh no, I'm going to steal a bed instead. As you can see, I've just ascended to level 6. It says you've learned a lot about Cyrodiil and about yourself. It's hard to believe how ignorant you were, but now you have so much to learn. Um, I decided to go with strength, speed and endurance because I really needed them. Because obviously strength increases the amount I can carry, which I'm very limited by at the moment. Uh, speed is by plus 4, which is really good. And it's nice to be a bit quicker. And then endurance as well, because I need that health. Like, it's absolutely awful how little health I have. But anyway, there you go. And now I'm about to speed through. Oop! <laughs> oh. And the music as well. Oh, it's so fun. Like, listen to it. <laughs> amazing just wait until we go into the oblivion gates like their voices are absolutely insane oh here i am there i'm going into it and here's the first oblivion gate as you as you can see i'm probably going to save a lot because it's what i do um and also in this one i think there was like five oblivion gates and i have to get to the one in the center oh my gosh <laughs> and I love how adorable they sound in high speeds. Look at them go. Anyway, I need to dodge a bunch of traps and then I go into the first Oblivion. I was going to say Oblivion, get me Oblivion Tower. Sorry, my cat's just gone in front of me. Thank you, Misty. So this is the first tower I go into. And as you can see, I'm quite brave right now. I'm not even sneaking. I'm just running right through them. Why not? As you can see there's a bunch of dead bodies surrounded everywhere. I don't know where they got the dead bodies from because this gate is like in the middle of nowhere. Like I don't know where it's come from or where they've come from basically. So yeah there's me looking at all the different towers thinking how the hell am I going to do this. I absolutely hate towers like this because they take forever. So here I am running about trying to find a shortcut. I'm thinking of jumping off because this looks way too annoying to deal with. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about going in there. I go inside. And then I just keep going down. I always get shocked as well by how empty these gates are. Usually there's loads of mobs about, but there weren't many. So I didn't know what to do, basically. I just wandered about for a bit. As you can see, I got lost. I had to look at my map. I, and the thing is, I've done so many Oblivion gates, so I usually know what I'm doing. But this time around, I was like really confused. I didn't know what was happening. So here I am, running through again, and I'm being blasted by something. More enemies. 
but yeah, like, the last playthrough I did on my own, my character's quite high level and the stuff that is roaming about is insane. So I was kind of expecting it and then I realised I'm only level 6, so obviously there's not going to be as many people. Oh, I hate those things. Look at them. Even at high speed, they're not even cute. Here I am, dodging more traps. And I think this is the point where I just had to stop and think. After I killed them, obviously. <laughs> yeah, as you notice, I just save a lot because my PC is very irritable at the moment. It does this thing where it keeps constantly restarting and it just does my head in. And as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of pausing a lot because I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm not going the right way, but I'm, I'm trying to wing it basically. Like, in the back of my head, I know I need to go back to those towers, but then a part of me really wanted to explore the place properly as well. But I think like halfway through this, I remembered that I actually wanted to do two gates and I was like, oh, I might as well do this quickly. So here I go into one more tower. Let my zombies deal with that. What are they called? Clan fears. That's it. I get hit by one of those spikes, even though I was nowhere near it. I call false play, I do. All the way up the tower. And then I get to release a prisoner. Well, a dead prisoner, but I release something. Again. I save again. <laughs> really thinking about jumping off that bridge because I was so done by then I was like how am I doing this I didn't know what I was doing or anything I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense at the moment whilst I'm speaking because I have play uh, playback on my recording device on Premiere and I don't know how to turn it off so whilst I'm talking I can hear myself talk back oh it's so irritating Anyway, I go into the main tower and I realise I can just jump down. So I save and then I go into the barrier and I just jump down. I lose a bit of health, but you know what? I don't care. I cut my time by probably like an hour. Because I know what I'm like. I would take forever. Oh gosh. Sorry, my cat's like eating my lamp right next to me. <laughs> Weirdo. You are. Sorry, I'm just talking to her at the moment. Ooh. And then I find one of the doors. You have no idea how excited I was to find it because I know I'm getting somewhere now. And as you can see, one of the um, lords? What are they called again? Oh, I went too fast. The Dramora basically just got killed by his own trap, as they do. Oh. There you go. I was surprised how well I did as well, because usually I do pretty terribly when I'm on my own. But I actually sold this pretty well. I didn't have to sneak a lot. I did use a lot of patience. Patience? Potions. <laughs> yeah, like, I really need to stock up on my potions soon. But like, I'm surprised how OP a battle mage is, because I haven't put down the difficulty at all. Oh, I just love the weird sound effects as well. And also, I noticed my um, weapon was low, so I needed to stock up on souls so I could charge my weapons. And I'm coming close to the end of it. I think this is the one of the last doors I need to go through. I think I have one more of those this bit and then that's the last one then. There you go. I made it. I'm surprised I did not get killed, to be honest. Because I was so reckless. I didn't sneak, I didn't strategize, I just went in and expected not to be killed. And it didn't happen, so fair play. Nah, considering what level I am, I do need to upgrade my weapon. 
Like, I still have the same weapon. Which is pretty bad, to be honest. Anyway, I head up to the top. This is like my final boss type thing. I think there's like two of them there, isn't there? I can't really see because I'm running away. Oh, there you go. As you can see, I am outpowered. One intense battle, I'll tell you that much. Right, I'm gonna move my cat again. She keeps going in front of my screen, so I can't like see what I'm commentating on. <laughs> oh. Well, I've left her home alone all day, so she's like very attention deprived. Like she needs some loving. Although saying that, she just tried to bite me right now. And there you go, I finished my first game. That was easy. Anyway, off into the town now. Although I think I kill a bunch of stuff before I go. <laughs> and collect some souls as well, because, well, I need them really. I just love the fact that my weapon only costs 300 to charge up. Also, this is amazing. 10 points of damage on strike. Like, I need that. <laughs> because right now, I'm only doing 5 points of shock damage plus the weapon damage. Which is okay. But it's not amazing. So, yeah, I do need to definitely switch up my weapon. I need to switch up my armor because... Um, I sh I'm still wearing rusty armor, as I said in my last episode. So there's a lot of things I need to do. As you can see, this one looks a lot more straightforward. And rather than go through those uh, towers, I kind of cheated. Yeah, I was like, F that, I'm not doing those two towers. I'm going across whether it kills me or not found a resist fire potion and I went straight through. So yeah, that's a nice little trick if you're ever struggling with Oblivion Gate and you just want to complete them really quickly. Anything with lava like that, just go right through it because it won't kill you straight out. Unless you're on like super high difficulty, then it's a bit different. Oh, there's a trap right there. To be honest, I was shocked I didn't see anything, like any enemies, it was just traps. Then I went straight in. But I think this tower was a lot harder than the first one. Because there was just a lot more enemies inside of it. And I'll show you now. Oh, so... Like yeah, you had two... What was it? Imps. You had two imps and a Jamora sorcerer thing. Sorry, I haven't played Oblivion for ages, so my memory sucks right now. Like, I'm trying to remember what I what I fight, basically, and, like, all the names are just, like, sieving out of my brain. Like, I need a, another good few hours to play again for me to remember everything. <laughs> Sorry, I keep laughing, but it's just so funny. Like, I could have just done this at normal speed and talked over it, but you know what? I think it's just so much fun at this speed. I was thinking of doing, like, all the Oblivion Gates as a side series. That's what I originally recalled this for, but I leveled up twice. And I kind of like leveling up with you guys. Like, I like using them out and seeing what's happened. Oh yeah, this battle is for my life. Look at it. It was insane. Because there was like three of them? Yeah, look at it. Where did they come from? I was shocked. Oh, and I'm dying. I actually thought I was going to die. I was going to have to do it all over again. But no, I... Well, I tried, basically. I don't know my zombies gone. I got to cast them again. There you go. And then one enemy left. No, I honestly thought I was gonna die. Because I know me. Usually one enemy is my limit, maybe two. 
Like, I know I'm okay with ogres, but... Oh. <laughs> Jamara Lords are a bit different, especially two of them. Like, they are really hard to defeat. Like, you do struggle with them because, like, they have their own enchanted weapons, they have their own special armor. But yeah, definitely a lot more enemies in this tower. And as you can see, I'm waiting a lot so I can heal up quicker. Usually I just brave it and go down with like really low health, but I decided no, I need to make sure I get it right this time around, just in case something happened to me. Anyway, I think this is one of the last ones I go up. Hmm. Look at me not getting my zombie to do everything. I've noticed that's like one of the things I do a lot is like I rely on my zombie way too much and I want to be a good battle mage like I need to battle everything myself. But yeah. As you see we can come to the end of it now. I was gonna play this like in front of um, the mage's quest but there was so much content that I just wanted to... I wanted to condense it down, but I didn't want to condense it too much so you didn't know what was happening. But yeah, this is the... If you never played Oblivion, this is kind of the taste of Oblivion games. They all look the same, to be honest. Like, it can get really boring to do. I don't mind it because I like rep repetitive stuff. But a lot of people just hate the same landscape and whatnot. And it's the same enemies as well. No twists. Basically, you just go into a living gate, you get the sigil stone, and you get out. <laughs> uh, it was one of the things that annoyed me, is I couldn't um, wait to heal myself. But I was so impatient, I was like, nah, F it, I'm getting through there, I'm doing it. They cannot wait when enemies are near. <laughs> I tried so hard. Oh yeah, and I edited it out, but like I changed my settings so I could quick save by pressing a button. Because going into that menu did my head in. And as you can see, this is the first time in ever I was actually sneaking. And yeah, it was weird. To be honest, I don't know what type of class I like more. I don't know if I prefer battle mages or if I prefer assassin type characters. Like in normal um, multiplayer games, not multiplayer games, ah, uh, role playing games. In normal role playing games, I usually do like speed like characters. I'm never a fan of mages. I like wizards and sorcerers. But I never like a mage. And when I mean mage, I mean like cleric or a healer or whatnot. I only like like wizard type people, basically destruction, elemental based spells and conjuration. But um Yeah, I'm actually enjoying my battle mage so far. Everything's so much easier. Like if I was playing the assassin type character, I'd be sneaking all over the place. And as you can see, I've just done my second game. And I've leveled up, which is lovely. Because as you know from my previous videos, it takes me forever to level up. So yeah, if you're ever looking to level up quick in Oblivion, always do Oblivion games because you'd be amazed how quickly you level up. Oh, I absolutely hated that sigil stone. Oh, it was horrible. And here I am leveling up. You have ascended to level 7. You resolve to continue pushing yourself. Perhaps there's more to you than you thought. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to go with strength, intelligence and willpower because I needed to focus on my magicka a lot more. And, and my strength, basically. I think strength is something I'm going to keep putting up until it's at least 50. Because it needs upgrading. It is absolutely atrocious right now. 
but yeah my willpower is looking really good like it's around 70 and I'm only level 7 so I think I'm gonna have no problems in that aspect at all anyway thank you for watching and have a lovely evening bye